And we're back now at 845 with Latin singing sensation Talia, the mother of two, is trying something new. She's writing her first children's book. It's an illustrated fairy tale called Chupi, the Binky that returned home. Talia, good morning. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Let's get it out of the way right now. Chupi, Binky, some kids Pacifier. call... Pacifier. Or Chupi is... Okay, Chupi is Chupi which? is like a... a, a, a Chupi is from Chupon. Chupon is pacifier in Spanish. Okay, Binky is the name for the pacifier? Exactly. That's how like every parent like relates to like, oh, the Binky. You forgot the Binky. The Binky's in the car. Now, Banky is something different. Oh, I don't know of, about that one. No, Bankies have, <laughs> a lot of kids have blankets and those are Bankies. Also, okay? it's like a mix. So we're concentrating on Chupis and Binkies exactly, today, all right? just that. It's fun, but you know what? It's also a serious issue because parents, they have new babies yes. and the babies are restless and they're fussing. And they give the pacifier and it calms them down, but then they can only be calmed down with the pacifier. And not just that. When you go to the second uh, year, uh, you know, with a pediatrician for them to you know, tell, check the kid, they tell you, like, uh, the pacifier is also linked uh, to some kind of, like, you know, speech problems right. in the future. Or uh, certain studies, they said that they have, like, kind of, like, it's a link between the ear infection and all of this because of the pacifier. So clearly there's a cutoff age. What did you decide? You have a daughter. Two. who's six and a son who's two. So the age of two is the cutoff? The age of two is a cutoff. That's what my experience is. But it was funny because I was, you know, it was my first daughter, Sabrina. And I didn't want to see her cry. It was a drama. It was very And every dramatic. time you take the pacifier yes. away, she'd get hysterical. Terrible. It was a bad experience for me. So I start adding two pacifiers in the crib because when she falls asleep, the pacifier falls and she cries. So every 40 minutes you have to go to the crib and put the pacifier back in. The so I ended up with 20 pacifiers in the crib. All right, which, is not, a good, which is not a good it thing. It was crazy. Now, at two years old, it's tough to communicate. So how did you reason with her and start to explain to her that we needed to wean off the pacifier? Matt, it was like divine intervention and it was a desperate call of a mother at 3 a.m., so I was in that crib, the baby was crying, she couldn't find the passy, and I was like, I took the passy and I said, you know why passy is sad? Passy is falling off your lips because passy misses his mommy. Passy, fire, wants to go home to Binky Land. And she was like, Binky Land? Yes. She lives in a castle made of caramel. Oh, you're and brilliant. Also, you're a little evil, <laughs> but you're brilliant. <laughs> mommy. Bank, mommy, mommy, Binky, Mrs. Mrs. The Binky, and it's like imagine you and me apart, Sabrina. You and me apart will be terrible. And she bought this. She said to me, "Take Binky to Binky Land." I swear to God, well it was done. amazing. Well done. And then you know I created the five steps that are in the book. Which. Which became this, by the way, the illustrations in the book are wonderful. Thank and I know that's you. a hard thing for a first-time author of a children's book to come up with the right illustrator. How did yes. you do that? Well, um, uh, I'm very creative, and I'm always, like, uh, painting. It's, like, my, my hobby, paint. And I did all these illustrations, so it took me, like, two years to find the right illustrator that captured my essence and respect my first binky and the mother and papi binky, mommy binky, the castles, the lollipops, everything. So, uh, well, finally, I got... Uh, that person, we created this magic kingdom, and then the most important are the steps to help your kid getting rid of are this habit. See more of you know what I think? It's like it's the first experience of uh, getting, letting go. Mm -hmm. You know, as a human being, it's very difficult to let go. So for a baby, it's terrible. So it's the first experience. To let go. It's going to be and great, okay. great advice for parents. You're going to do any more of these children's yes. books? Yes. You like this? Yes. Yeah? Yes. This is my fourth. This is the first uh, child's uh, book, and I'm very excited. Talia, congratulations. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Nice to have you here. Again, the book is called Chupi, and we are recommending this for anyone going through this right now at home. <laughs>